Welcome back, everybody, to MVM Live. We're here actually at the main MVM studio. We are, we, otherwise known as my dining room. No, don't. No, I, mean, I mean, my giant studio is what I meant to at say. At David's mansion. Yeah, which MVM, is cute, yeah. At MVM Mansion. <laughs> <laughs> I, I might have to laugh for the rest of this stream. Uh, we wanted to just try some different stuff with our different camera angles and different lighting effects. So we're here uh, on, the, on the main set to. To do the show with some, some new designs. So we'll see how it goes. We'd love to hear in the comments. And as uh, per usual from now on, we are streaming in 4K. So if you're not yes. automatically in 4K, hit that little button on whatever side of the screen it is and switch over to 4K. And hopefully, hopefully all of our computing processing power here can keep up with that. Uh, David's and computer doesn't light good. on fire. We'll see. Mike, I'm running a 286 <laughs> from 1988. <laughs> Um, it's got 16 <laughs> megabytes of hard drive space. That's all we needed for this. So, By the way, those are the stats of my actual original computer. Were they, you remember that. 16 megabytes of hard drive. Oh, that's awesome. I had a Commodore 64. That was my first oh, real mean, computer. Yeah, I don't think I had one of those. No? Okay, well, it was my dad's. Anyway, we're getting off topic, but yes. we're back. Uh, I'm just now getting back from PAX U, which was a great time. I got to see a lot of you in yeah. the Discord comments. I got to see you guys at PAX. It was a, a lot of fun. And I was able to bring back this game. This is Oros, which is coming from... Lucky Duck is uh, distributing it. Distributing it. Yes, bringing it to retail. Bringing it to retail and It everything. was on Kickstarter about, I don't know, a little over a year a ago. A little over a year ago it was on Kickstarter. And I was lucky enough to walk away with one of the few Oros copies. And David and I were big fans. So we thought we would live stream this. The actual game is shipping in January, but pre-orders are now live. So there's a link in the description below. If you follow that, it will take you straight to Lucky Duck's pre-order page. It'll be shipped to you in January. And one of you lucky viewers will actually win one as well. Yeah. So uh, like, comment, be involved in the live chat here, and you will get an entry in. It will ship when the game ships, which is in January. Yeah, and also, if you happen to back this back in the day from Ash Games, uh, that should be starting delivery this month and next as well. So you can look forward to getting that in the mail if you're already a backer. Brent, Brent Sanderson, a friend of the channels in the comments, big fan of the designer's name. Yes, I bet. <laughs> so, Another Brent. It's not a super common name, honestly. It isn't. So we're going to jump right in here to Oros. So this is just a really cool game. Uh, it's a really cool... It's a puzzle game, I mean, for it sure. Is, it is a really interesting game. You can't put this game in any sort of other bucket. You can't go, oh, it's like this or like this. We say that about a few <laughs> games, but this game in particular, there's a lot of tile movement. Yeah. This really isn't tile tiles. placement. Um, we're kind of <clears throat> tile replacement, maybe? Because you're going to be smashing some of these together and building up land masses, hopefully trying to get mountains built. And then on those mountains, we're going to be building sacred sites, sending our followers out to those sacred sites to study, collecting wisdom and knowledge all along the way. Uh, it's it's a really cool game. Oh, and the cool part, blowing up volcanoes. We are blowing that's, up volcanoes. That's a fun part, too. Hopefully, we don't screw that part up because the <laughs> volcano part is the part. It's a very cool part, but it's you have to follow that lava just so we're also going to be playing today when you play this game with one or two players and it can be played solo you play with an automa uh with two players you can play with one so we've got an automa and i have to say i don't play a lot of so solo gaming but in my experience with that automa uh, i played with the designer brant a year and a half mm -hmm. ago yeah or so. and we played with automa um, and too. we played with it it works so smoothly I really dig the way well, it works. Well, what I think about what is what is so cool about this Ottawa is that each one of the uh, factions oh. has a flip side that is an Ottawa with their own unique deck of cards. They all play differently. They use different strategies. Some are more aggressive than others. Some are more about positioning the board. We're using than the, others. We're using the less aggressive one. We're today. using we're using the less aggressive one. But when you're playing solo, you can play. Uh, it's a minimum three, but you could play a four-player game with solo by using three automa. For sure. And even in a two-player game, you could add a fourth automa to simulate four players. And in a three-player game, it says you could add a fourth automa to simulate four players. If so you, you can kind of mix and match it however you want. What I want to know is, can you have four automa just play Probably. I imagine so. I don't know. I don't know about that. Because it does take... The automa works mostly like a human player, 
but in a more abstract way for sure. Also, say hello to Board Game Brie from Lucky Duck in the comments. If you have any questions about Oros, she probably would be able to answer sure them. Sure, she'll be happy. And Gator Dave has joined us today. He's Dave, Gator Dave is gracing us with his presence. Yeah, it's because we're playing a game with a lot of water. He thought he'd feel more there at home no here. There are no gators. No in gators game. in these islands. Not so yet. Maybe an expansion. Yeah, David Bauer says that'll be awesome for Solo. I agree. I think that this game has kind of got a reputation for being a lot of fun to play Solo. Uh, when it was back on Kickstarter. So, uh, you want to jump in? Yeah, we're going to dive in. Ryan's going to start, then me, and then we'll go to the Automa. So, the Automa will happen every time before Ryan. Please keep us honest and make sure we don't miss the Automa's turn. <laughs> yeah, we won't. It'll go in a circle. So, yeah. this is me. I am the demigod of Raging Fire. Now, these player boards are all symmetrical, except you'll notice these little wisdom markers here. These are going to go up as we take certain actions. And so quickly, our boards are going to become very asymmetrical. And this is something that's really neat is like you start to see your opponent do some things that you wish you could do. Yeah, for sure. But you would definitely haven't unlocked those abilities yet. So the first thing you do on your first turn always, you get three actions. But your first action of every game has to be to put one of your followers out onto one of these starting islands. And I'm going to choose... Are you going to be awkward and go all the way across? Bleh, I'm going to choose this starting island just because it's right there next to me. Hmm. Hmm. Well, now you take the rest of your turn. So the rest yeah, of yeah, his turn true. is he uses his other two followers in this case that are off the board and places them on one of the action spaces at the bottom. You'll see, starting with turn two, how challenging it gets because you need to clear off action spaces yep. and move to some, and you really need to plan ahead to make sure you do that right. All right, so I am going to move a set of three tiles. So when you move tiles, you'll see, as you can kind of see here on my player board, hopefully you can see in the 4K, it has a little design that says, I can only move a cluster of three, exactly three. In that shape. Luckily for me, there's a cluster of three here, and I can shift that up, down, left, or right. Are you going to shift it down? Well, if I, I was going to say, if I shift this row down, you'll notice there's another landmass here. They would collide, and that's kind of how you create volcanoes and mountains. I don't want to do that. It seems kind of silly. So instead, I'm going to shift it this way. Oh. I'm going to do and By the way, he says this. shift it, but he's not shifting because that's I'm a moving. whole I'm sorry. other action. I'm moving them one space. Interesting. I should use the right terminology. However... I'm on a little island. There's water here, water there, so I can't actually uh, get there. But then what I'm going to do is then shift all tiles in a row. I'm going to choose this row, and I'm going to shift all the tiles down. So when you do that, the tiles actually wrap around, so whatever direction, or they'll follow these arrows. So that tile that was here is actually going to wrap all the way to the top, and these are going to shift down. So, I kind of created myself a little land bridge And there. you don't change their orientation, uh, but when you do collide tiles, the person who adds the new tile, you'll see it gets to choose what orientation they want to put it yeah. in. Yeah. So that was all your turns taken, That right? was all of my actions. Your turn done, as and they say overseas. What's really cool, if you guys can see, they give you these little markers of like action one, two, and three. So while the other player is taking their turn, you can actually kind of be pre-planning the order that you want to take your actions, which yeah, I think and, is kind of a neat thing. And keeping thing. them secret because they give you all yeah. you know, six different tokens like that. My turn? Yep. Well then, um, I am going to start right here. Are you laying them face down? Or like I laid that? mine face down so, so everyone so can, can see, see it. That, see my guy there? My, that's my first action. My second one is going to be to move. Yeah. I'm going to move these top three that way so they're going to collide with these and instead of doing all the movement we're just going to collide them uh, and replace so this is a one and a three so this three You're is going to go moving these away. up to here i'm moving these three this way so they'll collide yeah and this one becomes a four yep so we add together the three on the one tile plus the one on this one david is now standing on a four these two ones make a, a, make two? a two is that right uh, yep um, right here? How do I want... Yeah, I'm trying Oh, you to get to choose the orientation. Yeah. And the orientation matters because you, you can only move from land to land, so... I'll do it like that, I suppose. And then this one also, likewise, comes over here with its volcano, collides into this. 
making another four, which orientation doesn't really matter. Uh, so there we go. That's my second action. Um, yes, and there is math, but don't worry, the largest number is four. So as long as you can add up to four. I mean, kind of. You, you, there's volcanoes. <laughs> there's remainders, if there you will. There is remainders. The remainders in this game are the volcanoes. So that's my second action. And then my next action is I'm going to actually send or return from study. This is a thing that allows you to put mm -hmm. more people out. But at the beginning of the game, we can only have one person out. And you have to have some sacred sites out here before you can bring people out. So I am going to send to study up on my player board. There's two spaces where I can send to study. And I am going to send this guy here to study. To chill out up there. So what I did there is I used the move action. And then on my second action, I sent that person away so that my move action is now open for my next turn. Um, someone in the uh, chat mentioned tectonic plates and they actually kind of talk about that yes. a lot in the rule book this is a game they call it like a tectonic shifting puzzle so you're that's what we're basically yeah, doing there's a big long word that brant uses that starts with oros that means effectively that and oros at least according to one of his videos means mountain oh well see that's good to know we haven't made a mountain yet but we will so i'm doing something similar so now no, it's my not. turn Oh, no, they're going to go. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Round so, number one and Ryan was forgetting. Well, once we do it once, we'll remember. <laughs> so when the automa goes, we flip a card, and the card is going to tell us what to do. So there's usually two or three parts to the automa, and you do each of the parts. So this first part, it's saying either place a uh, guy a out, study. which, by the way, we need Oh, yeah. That. Whenever we expose one of these areas, you pop a new island on. So he'll send one of his guys to study. If he couldn't, he would return all of his guys, but in this case, there is room. He could, so you just do one. Now we look at the middle, and this middle actually has nothing. Yeah, so he's not shifting or so anything. So the AI doesn't always do all three actions. But then we have this ascension icon, and they're going to gain a point on the pyramid. Yeah, so he's going to go up the ziggurat on the first move. I want to point out, this is kind of a cool thing. This is the thing that, that triggers the, the end the game. Also, the four-player side is up. Uh, the other side is oh, just to for... four... Oh, solo mode. I yeah. see. Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to question I you, believe, David. I believe. I didn't mean to question you, David. Uh, so you move that onto one. And as we move up, or as any of us move up, you're going to actually leapfrog people. So if I were to move up one right now, I'd actually go to the yeah. two space. And as soon as someone gets to the top, that's going to trigger the end of the game. And that's why it's important to have the auto mob, because it gives you more movement and more things that happen. I'm going to confirm that side of the board. It's fine. Really quick. Uh, so they're done. They're completely done. So now it's my turn. Now I will do the action that I was saying I was going to do, which is to move this journey guy over to send or return from study. And I'm going to send the guy that uh, shifts all tiles in a row. I'm going to send him up to my study. You are right. It is this oh. side. Well, this side is actually for, that there other side is just for a longer game. Oh, if you want to do a longer game. Yeah. Well, we only have an hour. We, so. we can keep this. I'm going to shift. Today. I'm going to shift all tiles in a row. Which row? I'm going to shift this row to the left. Oh no, that's not a shift. Oh, that's a. A shift is. Oh, a only line. up and down. You're right. Or left and right, but you're not shifting things laterally. Then what I want to do is move, which you cannot do right now. Where was that guy, by the way? Yeah, well, I could. I just send the other guy to the study. Oh, okay. And then I can move. It was either move or shift. Then I could move these. This is a group of three, and I could move it. Yeah, so this three so, just moves over. Yep. These two Collide. are going to create a three, which you can place however you'd like. Let's do it like that. And then this is a two and a one, so that's going to make a three as well. So let's do it like that. And since I was standing on it, I remain on it. There we go. Nice. And then I get one more action. So that was a study. That was a move. And then I'm going to, uh, I think, journey. That just moves my guy one space. Or you know what? Actually, I'm going to erupt. So let's see how this looks. So mm. we have this volcano here that's a two. Anytime you trigger the eruption, you're going to look at what the volcano is, and you're going to get to 
basically trigger or add that many tiles has, out to the board. It has basically that value of land inside of it. It has that much land it's yes. gonna, that it's going to create because that's how islands are created. So I'm going to create two. So first of all, I need to replace this with a new one because there's always new islands. I can send one tile here, one tile here, one tile here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go this way. Oh. So this volcano, the first one is going to fill this up to Actually, a four. Actually, the first one has to fill the tile you're on. Oh, the tile you're on. So it's going to turn this one into a four. Yeah. And then it's going to spread out this way and turn this one into a four. Very good. So. I see what you're up to. But. You're on the other one. Though. Yeah, but that means this volcano is gone. Yes. No more so volcano. that's how effectively the volcanoes work. So you're going to basically be continuing to just put more and more land on the board, smashing that land together, building mountains, and then building sacred sites on those monsters. Mm. mountains. Ryan's very close. Yeah, and called us out for not replacing that. That's the hard, you gotta Thank remember you, to replace it each time. Every time one of these starting stats is empty, it gets replaced with a level one island to start Are those with. your actions done? That was three actions. You know what, I'm not gonna plan my actions, but I am gonna use my tokens to keep track of what ones I've done. Because yeah. sometimes that can get hard to remember. So it is my turn. Um, all right. I am going to... Uh, mm? What are you thinking? Well... I am going to move... Um, let's see. We should have gotten some, like... I'm going to move this... Island music in the background. Boom. To move these right here. Those three down? Yep. Okay. Actually, you know what? No, I don't know what. I'm going to move. You're going to move yours up. Here. Okay. I want to get in the mix. <laughs> I want to get in the mix there. All right. Then I am going to. Get in the mix. Erupt. Ooh, you're going to do it too? Uh, this so that site, yours is already full, so yep. it will not do anything to yours. But it's going to create a... F You're going to make that all the way to a four? I'm going to make this all the way into a four. Because you could split it. You could make a three and a three, or even a one over here if you wanted to. I know. You don't, don't, don't. I'm don't, telling the audience. Don't, don't, don't. I'm, I'm just yes, telling you them. You can, split, you can split the volcanic eruption And up. if you didn't notice, what I just did is I used the first guy to move, and then I used that guy again so yeah. that I could actually open up my move again because I am going to, let's see, I'm going to use this guy to move again and I'm going to move these three together. So a few things happen here. Uh, these are going to turn into a mountain. Yep. So a mountain erupts here. That's nice. These are going to turn into a four with one volcano. Yeah, because here's that remainder we were talking about. Here's the remainder. About. We have a two and a three. It's going to make a five. So it's going to make a four with a one level volcano on it. Nice. And then these are going to make a six. So we'll just, oh, actually, no. It'll have two volcanoes. Yeah. Or I can replace it with a four, I suppose. Yeah, it'll make a six. So it'll make a six. So we're going to add a two volcano to that. There's already a two volcano to that. That volcano is going to go up to four. That's going to be a big volcano to erupt. That's going to fill the You know what? I don't think, ocean. I think you actually two just twos? put another two. Yeah. Because I don't think you add it because there's, later you can erupt multiple volcanoes and I think that's what you have to do. Yay, we got a first mountain of the game. We should have had a We have our first sound. mountain, but I'm all out of actions at the moment, so I can't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's how it works. And it's important to remember, mountains will only ever be created when two fours collide. So if you do a three and a... Two, even though that's five, it's still just doing a four with volcanoes. I, I need to get this guy off of move so that I can move some more tiles. However, it's the Automa's turn. Oh, you're right. <laughs> See, thank you, David. The Automa is going to activate in section B. They're going to uh, place one of their things on a mountain. For, form one mountain yep, if, on the lowest numbered map space containing no other land tile. Yeah, so that is... In B? In B, B2. So they're just going to form a mountain in B2. So we add a mountain there yep. because that is the lowest one. And then it's either going to build or return. Yeah, which you can't... Build the lowest sacred site possible on a mountain tile. Yep. So in C. 
So that would be this one. In C. Yeah. C. No, no, we're still looking at the top. Oh, we're still doing the top. Oh, mountain and then build a sacred site. So yep. the lowest one, there's only one option. Yep. So they will build a sacred site here. And that is the monolith. Yep. The sacred sites have three levels. You build the monolith first if there's no other thing on a mountain. And then you build the shrine and then the temple. And then... Uh, so that's done then. Yep. And then they do C, which is to get rid of a, one of the tiles. I think it's the lowest... It's right there. Oh, yeah. Turn the... Remove the largest unoccupied land tile. Any volcanoes on the tile that are also removed cannot remove... Yeah, so in C... So, oh. this is C8. Oh, no, this is C9. So, this is 8. So, this is the one that would go. Yeah, so it goes away along with the volcano. I know. Thanks, Automa. It sunk into the ocean. And then they go up two spaces on that points chart. Oh, boy. Yep. The Automa might win. <laughs> The Automa could win. The The rules do say, though, if you want, just don't, you don't have to score them. We'll decide like, at the end. We'll just, if we'll I see. beat you, but the Automa beats me, we then won't count it. We won't count it. But all otherwise, right. all bets are off. So I'm going to journey. I move my guy one space. Then that frees up uh, move. So I'm going to move these three tiles up one. So we will have another mountain formed. Where the fours collide here. So four and four. What ones did you move? These three. Oh. Four and four makes a mountain. Three and three makes a six. Or a four. So and we a need two. a four with a two volcano. And, and a four and four. two again makes a six. So we'll need a four with a two volcano. Look at all the volcanoes. Look at all the volcanoes. So I actually have a third action still. So now I can build a sacred site myself. What was your first action? I had to journey just to clear off the move space. Uh -huh. I journeyed, then moved. Or I, I, yeah, journeyed, then moved tiles. Now I'm building a sacred site. And I'm going to build mine right here. And you just place yourself on that sacred site. And whenever you build a sacred site, you are going to get some wisdom. And yep. for a... Um, Monolith, you get one wisdom. Wisdom is going to be what we spend immediately to raise any one track. Yeah, I'm going to raise this track that move, the move track. So now I can move a, 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 set, of a set of two instead of a set of three. Not bad. It gives a little bit more flexibility. Yeah, this is one of those games where you are going to increase <laughs> skills on your player board and you're going to choose one and think, oh, that's oh, great. Oh, yeah, and the Automa should gain one for building that monolith as well. Oh, that's right. Which is this one right here. Uh, Matt was just asking how you move them up. That's how you move up. How do you know it was that one? Because they're tied to the different actions. It... Yeah, but where's that shape? Oh, no, no. It's, 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 it's the top. Whenever it gains wisdom, it goes up on the top icon here. Oh, that's there. That's right. You're right. So it goes up the mountain. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's a really cool system. As long as you're used to it and you play a lot. I, you know what? Last time you managed the Automa. So this is my <laughs> first time managing the Automa. So. It's been a minute, too, yeah. since we played. Matt says there's a lot going on. There is a lot going on. I mean, to be fair. Yeah, for But sure. you can Especially. watch it back again. It'll make more sense. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Once you get used to it, really. Yeah. Uh, you're done? Yeah, that was three actions. All right. Well. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot with the way the tiles move and the way that thing is smashed together. Indeed. Indeed, there is. Uh, oh, we need an island here. Yep. We should have had that before. Oh, I wouldn't have changed my turn at all. No. Um, okay. Well, then I am going to... Oof. I'm going to build. Mm -hmm. That's one action. Uh, right here. I'm going to build a monolith. So you're going to get a wisdom too. Yep, I get a wisdom. Um, I'm going to take that wisdom up here. Which one are you doing? Um, the send or return from study? Yeah, I think and so. And that lets you send up to three? I can have up to three people oh, on, the, on board. the board. Yeah. Um, and then I am going to actually... Use this one to send or return from study, and I'm going to return, and I'm going to return this one. Mm -hmm. Can I do that? 
Yes, I can. You can? Return that. And this, these have to go on spaces, by the way, which makes this very, Yeah, because you're basically choosing your tricky. next action. Uh, mm. uh, but I get a wisdom for each of those uh, guys who return, so I'm going to get two more wisdom. Um, I will... Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to move my shift up one. That's a good one. So now you're shifting two spaces. And I'm going to move my mm. eruption so up So now you can one. erupt two volcanoes. Yep. Okay. Um, and then on my last action, I am going to move... Um, this is where it gets complicated. You're trying to figure out who you want to move. Yeah. Um, I'm going to move this guy over here to move. <coughs> and I am going to move. Huh. Hmm? I could mess with you a little bit. Well, you can move a group of three. Yeah, I know. I'm going to move. And you can't move mountains. I know, I can't Or move shift mountains. That is a hard thing to remember, by the way. You cannot mess with the mountains. You can't mess with the mountains until you've raised your power up high so enough. So you got to be careful. Yep. Um, I am going to, I suppose, move these. Oh, there's really not a whole bunch. Well, you're trying to set yourself up for the future, I remember. Yeah, I know, but I can't. There's not many I can move yeah. at this point. We'll need to erupt some volcanoes and get some more land masses out here. Yeah, which is what I kind of intended to do. <laughs> well, you blocked your volcano spot. I'm going to move these here. All right. Is that three actions? That is three actions. All right, let's see what the Automa's hey, up to. Hey, we remember the Automa. All right, okay, so in A, in A he's going to... Place a mountain. Yep, in the lowest possible, the lowest which is A2. Possible. A2, and he's going to... Place a guy on it. I think so. Yes. Yep. And then, oh, this is going to mess me up. This row, he's going to shift everything up by two spaces. So that can't move. That's just going to move oh, wait, one. hold on. Oh. I don't know if we can... We'll have to check on the shift here because... You can't shift a row if there's a mountain in it. The whole row is locked. Oh, the whole row is locked. I'm nothing, sorry. Nothing thought, ever, nothing okay. ever consolidates. So then on he a won't shift. be able to do that. But he can still move up one on that pyramid as yeah, well. Yeah, I just want to make sure that when he shifts, um, it doesn't ignore the rules. The that rule. Oh, the automa. Yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't really. Say yeah, so it doesn't say that it. I, I would say that it doesn't break the rules, but. We have the designer in the comments, so that's fine. Oh, is he in the comments? Yeah, if he comes in and says that we should have moved it, we'll move it. Yes. Um, Please let us know, Brand, if you're in the comments. It says you cannot shift mountains at all. So you cannot shift a row with mountains in it. Uh, so, and then he moved up one. I moved him up one on the, uh, I ascended him one on the pyramid. So that's it. Um, so I'm going to uh, return from study, David. Always has the ability to shift mountains. Oh, they do? Yep. Oh, well, then it does shift. Yeah, all one, of them. One, two, one, two. That's too bad. But I'm going to return. Uh, I was going to return these guys from study, but now I don't know because I have to shift now. I, have, I can't shift mountains, so I can't get that back. That definitely messed with my plan. So I'm going to have to do this a different way. I'm going to shift... All tiles in a row, and I'm going to choose this row, and they're all going to shift to the left one. So this one is going to shift here. This one is going to shift here, like that. Then I'm going to erupt to form volcanoes, and this two is going to erupt over here and turn this two into a four. So I'm almost back to where I want to be. Uh, and then uh, the last thing I'm going to do is send a return from study. I'm going to return one person back from the study. And that lets me get one wisdom. And I'm going to level up my move again. And that lets me move a tile, just one individual tile, one individual space. 
And hi, Emily. Everybody say hi to Emily and wish her well. She's in recovery and seems to be doing pretty good. Yeah, I think so. So I'm glad to see you here, Emily. It's great to have you on uh, the stream. All right, David. I'm done, so it's back to you. I'm trying to see here. I, I, I can't really journey followers. That's correct. So I feel like I have to burn an action. Yeah, I think you're going to have to. Um, but I was trying to check to see if there was something that you did in the event that you a were burning a, a an consolation action. prize. Well, like I, if you're all full, which is possible. Yeah. You, I think it says, what if my action spaces are occupied by followers? Your next action must be to assign one follower from any action space other than the send to this send. Yeah, but action. you're not completely full. So. So I guess I'm just burning that. Just burning one. Uh, what, what do I want to do next then? Uh, Hi, Deadpan. It was nice seeing you at PAX U. I, I, it's so great to run into people from our comment section and our Discord. It was a lot of fun. All right. I am going to waste my journey. Okay. Then I am going to... Ooh, I like this. I'm going to send... send. Mm -hmm. And I'll send this guy actually here. Yep. Get him back on the board. And then I am going to do, 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 erupt. And I'm going to erupt because I can erupt two volcanoes. Yep. I'm going to erupt one of these and get, you know what? I'm just going to erupt both of these. Okay. And make another four. And make another four right there. That's fair. Matt, hopefully it's coming together as you're watching more turns. So you did journey, erupt. Was that just two? I burnt one and then I sent. Oh yeah. And then I erupted, so I'm done. All right. Let's see what we've got over here. Let's see if they mess with me again. In C, they're going to build a mountain in the lowest, which is C2. And then put a guy. And they're going to put a guy out on it. Uh, and they're going to shift this bottom row two spaces so this one's going to loop around one two and this one's going to loop around one two and then they're going to go up one more on the ascension there oh actually we've been doing that wrong oh why that icon is to build a sacred site oh this no. this upwards one yeah it's a mountain shape that did the mountain David. So fix that one okay well we did the very first one right but you we, we well did not do the last you'd one. build a sacred site on this mountain then yeah. Because this was the lowest mountain then in C. Yeah. This one, uh, technically, wherever he was before. Um, and then put a guy on it. Yeah, you just did that. Yep. But he did that a second ago, too. He already had a guy on the board. I don't know. I wasn't oh. going to go back. I was just... Well, I know. Because there was no mountain to build a sacred site on last time. I put a mountain. There shouldn't have been one. So I'm just fixing it. That's true. That's yeah. true. And then he went up. This time there would have been a mountain, so it was good. I already moved him up one. You did? Yep. All right. We need to start moving up. I know. On, oh, wait a minute. No, you have, we to were. Get, you have to get this thing. Yeah, but we got one wisdom and ascended on the ziggurat when we built. Oh, you're right. Even at base level, it still moves you, you up first, one, doesn't right? it? Yeah. And he was, he, he was already above yeah. you? So you're gonna Sorry, we've missed a few things. We just missed one thing. And then I went up and I move up two. So I go one, two. I thought you had to level these up to start getting the, uh, the victory oh, no. points. But it, you're the right. The bottom it part is always happens. The bottom part is always available. All right. Uh, I did just bring this back with me from PAX yesterday. So I haven't gotten yes, to play a ton to of it, unfortunately. Yes, we last night on this game. Uh, Sorry. But, uh, let's see. So you're, we're done. The autumn is done. Everyone's done. Great. So I am going to move. You shifted the row. I did. That was this row. Uh, I'm going to move a tile, and I can move one single tile. So I will move this one single tile here, and I will explode these into a mountain, which I like. Uh, and then I will uh, journey my guy, one space. And then I will build a sacred site. Oh boy. Somewhere. Oh boy. I'll build a sacred site here. So Are you all the way up there? Yeah, that's the only thing I've been moving. Mm. Uh, so there's that. So that's going to give me one wisdom. But now I'm going to move something else. 
I'm going to move the one that lets me uh, journey. Mm, I don't know. It doesn't matter. The, let's shift two spaces. I'll move that one up. And you ascend two? And then I ascend two. So now I skip. I leapfrog you. Well, no. It's uh, one, one two. two. Oh, okay. It's wherever you Wherever land. you land, you just go to the next one. Yeah. Uh, so I moved... I journey, or I moved, I journeyed, and I built a sacred site. So that's three actions for me. Uh, how do you move up in the temple track, Matt? There's, uh, whenever you build one of these sacred sites, it tells you to ascend two. And then eventually, if you get some of these uh, uh, wisdom uh, abilities all the way up to the top, it has you ascend there as well. Yeah. So those are your main ways of ascending. You're done. Yeah. And correct me if I'm wrong. I can't build the, a, a second level of my own. Correct. I have to come to one of yours. Every sacred site that has three layers, each layer has to be from a different player. Yeah. So in a two-player game, it's very possible that we'll have a lot of individual, you know, double layers. Um, but I yeah. guess when he builds stuff, he'll build on top of some of the ones that are available. Um, mm-hmm. All right, so I am going to, if I, if I did this correctly, I am going to journey one. Mm -hmm. If I did this correctly, we'll see. And I can we'll journey see. one space. I'm going to journey here. Okay. Oh, actually. Uh, oh, I'm, oh. I don't know what that was. Well, when you journey, you have to move down. Did you do that? Oh. You probably didn't. Moving down is one. one. And then two. We'll let it go. <laughs> no, I can fix it. Okay. There we go. I can fix it. Oh, uh, yeah, I suppose you could do that. Uh, oh, I forgot about that. Um, then I'm going to move these. Oh, I can't. I know, dead pass. I'm going to move these three right here this way. <laughs> so you're going to climb. So these four are going to turn into a mountain. Uh, I ran into dead pen of packs, but like we only, and uh, Giggles, who was also in the chat, but only for a couple minutes. Pax is tough. It's a smaller con. It's only like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So you have way less time to, to really get to sit down and play games and stuff. And then I'm going to journey from here. There we go. To here. Now we're doing it all right. Now we're doing it all I, right. So... I think we we was that three actions kicking off the rust and we've got to right. down. So in A, going to build a sacred site on the lowest. I think there only is mountain. one option, and that's yep. this one. Yeah. So, so when he does that, I get a point. You get a wisdom or a wisdom. Yes. There we go. Not a not the yes. There's no actual points there, but uh, and then he puts a person on it. Yep. And then he comes to this row here and shifts it down to so, so one, one two, two one, two, one two one two which means we did open up oh and you opened up one two so yeah. let's replenish those and then he's going to move up one step on the ascension on the pyramid so he's just he's just going at it he is so i can journey two but i really need to journey three to get to here yeah that journeying is Unfortunately, I can't shift. I cannot move mountains. Not yet. Eventually, I can. Sh well, I don't think you could ever move mountains. You can shift mountains eventually. If I had two more wisdom, I could shift mountains. Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't know that that's going to happen with just three actions here. So I guess I could just. Oh, my journey's taken. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm going to send a person to study. I'm going to send this person that was on my build a sacred site to study. And I'm going to send them to study here. Okay. Then I'm going to journey with them, and I get two steps. So we're going to go one, two, to uh, get under that cross one. Water. Oh, you're right. There's water there. <laughs> My goodness. Why is this it, is so difficult? You see the puzzle of the game. You really have to like follow these steps to maneuver uh, and change the board. But then actually to maneuver around it takes a lot of progress on these different uh, abilities. Okay, so I'm not going to journey. But I can move. So we'll do that instead. And I can move a single tile and I can move it diagonally. So I can move this two into this one to make a three here. And I can orient this however I want. Now I can journey. Uh, I don't know which one I'm going to want. Wait, 
Okay. Now I can journey. I just want to make sure you're not moving things One, around. One, two. Okay. I did move things around. Yeah, I had to I, move my guy onto that action. Yeah, yeah. Is a Ugh, that was a puzzle to get there. Warning number one in this game, don't pick your guys up <laughs> before you know exactly what you're going to do because you can pick it up and go, actually, no, and then you're like, oh, where was this guy? Yeah. Um, all right, it is my turn. Uh, oh, yeah, they should gain wisdom. Yep, like, that's the part I forget. Though I don't know that we're going to score them, but it is worth giving them their wisdom. For sure. Uh, they should have three total because they did, what was this card? I forgot to do it there, too, on the little square. Well, that was the last one they did, wasn't it? No. The last one they did was right now, and it was this one. Ah. All right. So, yeah, they should have three wisdom because they built three sacred sites. All right. And now they do. All right. Um, I am going to... Well, I'm definitely going to build, but then I'm, what I want to do on my second turn is what makes the most... I'm really glad I got that uh, diagonal movement one because that was huge. Um, I can't journey again. <clears throat> no volcanoes. Mm, a little shifting might help. I think I might do that. I will build. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to build a monolith. Right here, and immediately go on it. And get a get wisdom, a wisdom, and ascend two. One, so you'll fit in that two. little hole. Oh, we didn't hit this either, Ryan. We're supposed to add two volcanoes oh, right. when we hit those. And, and we, well, I apologize. Is it when the even when the AI hits it? Well, either way, it's happening now. Put them on the starting on the islands. Well, there's a lot of little things to remember. Yeah. We got it. Well, I mean, it didn't really change. We're getting there. I don't even want to guarantee anything. that we're we're, got, we're getting there. No, we've got the designer in the comments. He's keeping us honest. Um, all right. Uh, so I built that. I got a wisdom that I need to spend. Uh, I'm going to take my journey up one. Um, mm. Then I am going to. Send a guy. Um, I think yep. I'll send this guy. Out there. Okay. All right. They're going to build a sacred site. Was that, in... just my... was that two or three? Oh, I thought that was three. I'm I think sorry. it was. I think it was just two. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to shift. Sorry, David. I really thought that was. Three. I will shift. Um, I should be counting. Shift. This. Oh, and I can shift two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Going down. This. Oh, up. One, two. One, two. One, two. Mm -hmm. One, two. All right. Now that was three. Yep. So he is going to build a sacred site in D, which he can't. There's nowhere for him to build a sacred site in the whole D section. So he's going to do the second thing, which is return his guys. So he return his guys, which I believe he still gains his wisdom, he right? Does. So he gets two wisdom here for returning. Nope. He gets it on that and then the next one. That one and that one? Nope. Oh, the, the next arrow one this one. That symbol. Thank you, David. See, this is why I, I should have run the Automa once before. Uh, <laughs> he's going to get rid of a tile in A. So that's up here. The lowest A it would be... Remove the largest, largest. unoccupied Largest. So that's land. this one. Yep. That nice, juicy four with the volcano. And then he's going to go up two steps. Two? Two steps. Yep. One, two. All right. Uh, to answer some of the questions really quick, uh, I think it's uh, I, Mikhail, Michael, I'm not sure, but Mikhail? he says it should be uh, here soon. I've heard it's going worldwide in January, so everyone should be getting it 
around the same time towards the end of January. I guess, you know, you can never guarantee it, but it should be to everybody that pre-ordered and backed it soon. Oh, yeah. The backing is starting very, very mm -hmm. soon. So I think some people might even get it before the end of the year, but definitely into January. Uh, and then, yeah, I don't know when the Lucky Ducks are going right. on pre-sale. Pre I'm going to return this guy to gain one wisdom. And then I'm going to journey to move this guy here. And then I'm going to sacred site. Mm, let's do this one. Build a sacred site. And that's going to be this one. And then my guy pops onto that. Now, is it two movement to get down from that high? It is. Okay. Well, that's why that guy, I, I just kind of bounced that's why back. That's you built that temple. Uh, so that was a little tiny one. So I ascend two and get two wisdom for doing that. So I go up two, two. and I get two wisdom. So I'm going to move this one up one, which is going to free this guy. No. No? Oh, these have, as well? I think you have to have all oh, of those. I'll double all check, but I'm pretty sure you have to have all of them. Well, I get lot. two. So let's do this one as well. All of them, all of them. I thought it was just the... Uh, Matt, we are playing the retail edition of the game. Yes. So the deluxe edition has some like dual layer stuff and some other things that we're not using, uh, which I think you can see it all online, but this is the retail version. Uh, so that was... A no, you're right. It's the first five. Okay. That is what I thought. Yep. That's what I thought. But I still want to move up that one for scoring purposes. So I... Uh, Returned, moved, and built. So I am done, David. I did all three of my things. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. What? Well, this is maybe different than the prototype. Oh, what? But this is interesting. Unlocking a follower. You may choose oh, yeah. to immediately assign the follower to any of your unoccupied sacred sites on the map or study space. Oh, great. I'll put them on the study space then instead. I bet you won't. Why? Or assign the follower to an empty action space and take the action. As oh, a bonus and take action. the action. Yep. Oh. Oh. That's nice. I don't remember that. I don't either. I could maybe we played it wrong. Then, but I don't but actually I don't, have an action to take. I don't remember. I don't have a good no. action to so take. So you're gonna study. My only action is to send a return from study. So actually, I guess I could um, do. No, I'm just gonna send him to a sake. Yeah, you may as well just send sites. him straight away. I'll send him here. Because I could have three guys on the map. So That's your turn. That was my turn. Done. Got a lot of islands over here. Thank you, Jason, for saying we're awesome. Yes, oh, we appreciate that. And thank you all for wishing Emily a speedy recovery. Yeah, she's actually, I mean, just so everyone knows, if you watch the channel, she had broken her arm pretty badly uh, rock climbing, and she had to go back to surgery a second time. Yeah. So thankfully, it, sound, it seems like that one went pretty well she's got more mobility already in that's terms great. of the extension of her arm so that's uh, really yeah. great but she's still yeah got yeah. some physical therapy and whatnot to go through so if you're wondering why she's in a cast in our videos that's, that's it's also just a why. mild little rap i don't know uh, no, it was yeah. It, yeah i saw the the just played yes plug there uh david and emily filmed a just played where they covered three brand new games that just released so yeah all right my turn mm -hmm. i am going to uh, I'm going to journey, and I can journey two? Ugh. Jason says, but can Emily still push cubes around? That's the real question. We can push the cubes for her if she can. That's fine. I will journey. I do love a good cube pusher. And just move... One space down? Oh, it seems like a mistake. <laughs> it seems like a mistake. Uh. When you send a return, do I have to return all of them? No, I don't know. I don't believe so. Because I, I think you get to choose how many look, to return. Look that up. Well, it's, it's on the back. Send. That's the, return uh, up to two followers. Ultima. Well, no, it's the same icon. Well, I'll just double check. Okay, well, it says up to two. Up to two. Okay. Even there for us. Oh, so you're not returning more than two. No. That's good it, to know well, the well. symbol shows just two. So you, can, you don't have to do two. You can do up to two. Well, then I will. Uh, I was on this erupt. I'm going to return this one right here um matt says do you know what game you're playing next week on the build i we don't do not 
but we have several options, so that's why we haven't decided. I just got back from PAX with some stuff too, so... Yeah, let us know what you think. We were thinking maybe we had done a, uh, a video on our experience playing yeah. Undaunted. And I think we're I think Stalingrad. that might be the next it one we do. Be. I also want to do Dungeons & Dragons Onslaught, which looks like really yes. cool. There's, there's a couple things that I want to want to do. There's some I really would like to do. Like, can you imagine like uh, a Frostpunk live stream? That game is two volcanoes. I'd love to live stream Frostpunk. That one I don't know if I can fit on my table. I'm going to erupt. Oh, you're erupting. I'm gonna erupt this volcano here. So that's gonna change this to a three. Um, how do I want this? Probably like this. And then I will erupt this one, which will change that to a three. Mm -hmm. Good eruptions, David. I mean, they're eruptions anyway. Well, it looks like there's an overwhelming excitement for Undaunted. Oh, Resurgence. That would be a fun one to live stream. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're big fans of Resurgence. Yeah, keep the suggestions coming. We'll keep them, figure keep something them coming. Out. Uh, and then my last action is going to be to move... Yeah. yeah, I'm going to move. Undaunted is, it, it, we had a lot of fun with Undaunted. I'm going to move these this way. So this three is going to come over here. This is going to be a four, and this is going to be a four. Oh, you're making two fours? Yeah. All right. Oh, boy, I wonder what you're planning over there. I mean, stuff. Stuff and things. All right. Are you done? That's my turn. Let's see what we've got here. In B... Build a sacred site in B. Uh, there's only one option left, which is this one, because he's already got sacred sites there. Yeah. So he's going to build a sacred site right there. You are really lucking out. And place a guy really on it. Really lucking out. Well, when his... you build a lot of sacred sites, you get people on them. So I'm going to gain a wisdom for that. Uh, let's go ahead and make my level twos be worth a little more. Uh, and then he's going to go this whole row. Oh, this could be bad for me. He's going to shift two. So this one's going to go oh, one. that way? Yeah. Yeah, that way. That was two. So he's taking me with it. One, two, and one, two. That kind of messes with my plan a little bit. That is tricky. When he moves mountains, you are, or shifts mountains, you are just along for the ride. <laughs> you, really, you really are just along for the ride. So That's not horrible. And then he's going to move up horrible. one on the pyramid. <laughs> Uh, I think I can get out of him. Oh, Clank Catacombs would be another fun yeah. one to live stream. And I know for a fact, I already know what our Christmas live stream is going to be. It's a hot new game that released that pits two classic oh. fictional Christmas characters. So hot, if you can not guess... a new game. Hot it's a new hot expansion? new expansion. Yeah, well, yeah, it's yeah. also standalone. Hopefully you've gotten enough clues. That will be our Christmas stream this year. Uh, all right. So now I need to rethink some things. So I'm going to move a tile, and I'm going to choose to move a section of two. I'm going to move these two right here. Okay. Then I'm going to journey. I can move two spaces. So I'm going to go one, two, over to this three. Uh, and then I'm going to, I guess, move a tile one space. I'm going to move this three. Collide it with this four. So it's going to make a four. So I'm at three. So we're going to get another three volcano on there as well. Okay. Can I have a three volcano, David? Oh, I need a wisdom. Yeah. I think I've been forgetting to take my wisdom when I brought guys back. Because I've only moved up a total of... Have you brought many guys back? Wouldn't it be... Well, I've built two monoliths. So that's yep. four. One, two, three, four. No, it's only one wisdom when you build a monolith. It's two oh, on the pyramid. Two so you're, okay. yeah, you've been doing it. All right. All right, that's me. Uh, all right. Well, look at you, Ryan. Look at you. I'm looking. But the Automa has a turn. David Bauer says, is it dice thrown? I don't know. Perhaps. 
jobs? <laughs> it could be. If only there was a Christmas version of Dice Throne that just shipped out to backers. Mm, interesting position, Ryan. Uh, I'm... I think it's Embrang says, uh, yeah, look, it's fun. This is much deeper of a puzzle than you'd think looking at it. It's one of the more unique puzzle games I've played. And I, I think this is great at two players, even with the Automa. Like, it, it's just, it's a fun, fun experience. Um, can yes? you remember, can I collide yes. with a mountain? No. You can't move into a mountain? It just doesn't put a volcano on the mountain? Oh, yes. Yeah. Sorry, it would put a volcano. I thought you meant shift yeah, you mean no. move literally yeah, mean yeah move. i did mean move. yes it would put a volcano of that strength on that mountain um i am going to gosh i i am not doing a great job of managing pre, pre-planning um i have an i, I know what i want to do unfortunately i kind of blocked myself a little bit i'm on a journey i need I three actions two. here so let's remember, it's one to get down. One. Uh. <laughs> Two. Two. I have some ideas. I don't know if they're good ideas, but we're going to see. Um, and then I'm going to... Oh, I need to move again. Or I need to journey again. Um... Yep. Well, you can take it like a middle action just to get them off. No, I know. Oh, David Bauer says there's also a Christmas movie version of Super Skill Pinball coming out. Really? Yeah. Christmas. Is this now, David? You're in the, you're listening right now. Is this different from the regular Christmas Super Skill Pinball? Is this a second one, or is that just like there's some movie boards inside of that? Like I think. Maybe there was like a like Christmas vacation themed board was one of them. That would be a fun one for December as well because Christmas is coming up sooner than you know. Um, I will shift. These. I'm just going to shift them. One. I assume the shift is up to, right? Yeah. Because you can choose a lesser power. You can mm-hmm. you can choose any of those options. Was that three? No. You know, we can always put these out too, like, just put them in front of you as you take your three actions. That may, might have been too smart for me to think about. Elf, Christmas Vacation, and Christmas Story. Now that's a cool set of tables. Now I want that. I'm trying to ruin your turn here, Ryan, but I can't. You can't. I set myself up with like four different options. So but I am going to move these three. Okay. So this is going to move here. And make a three volcano. And make a three volcano. Okay. This is going to move here. Yep. And this is going to move here. Well, it did mess me up a little bit. A little bit. It's the best I could do. Only a, only a little bit. Because I still can't move my tiles, and that's what I was trying to do. Oh, Uh, I need an island. So, I'm going to do the Automa first. Uh, They're going to... Send a guy. Send a guy. There's no place... Oh, to study up here. Um, And then they're going to shift this row up to... This might mess me up, David. That's unfortunate. Ooh. That was not what I was expecting. I like it. I like it. All right. <coughs> it wasn't what I wanted to do. So, I did nothing on the bottom. So, I'm going to send a return. I'm going to re- send this guy up to study here. And then I'm going to move a tile. Uh, I can move it one space. And I can do it diagonally. So, we're going to move this one down there diagonally. And then I'm going to send or return from study. Let's return this guy for one more wisdom. 
um, which is going to let me journey now three spaces. Okay. My turn? Your turn. All right. First action. I am going to journey and mm -hmm. move here. Mm -hmm. uh, then I'm going to shift. Is there a row that doesn't have mountains in it? What's that? Oh, yeah. You can shift this one. Yeah. I'm going to shift two. two. And then I'm going to journey again. And move there. That was three? Yep, that was three. And since I'm not on that site, I won't get points when you build there. Is that right? Correct. Okay. All right. I'm going to erupt to... F oh, no. I'm going to do the Automa first. B site. So they cannot build in B. And that's the way... Is that... Nope. That's C. So there is no mountain for them to build on in B. So they're going to send a person and that is to... also B. No, that's C7. Oh. And B9. Oh, okay. Never mind. So they will build on there. But you don't have a guy there. So sorry, David. No. Uh, no points for you, but they will put a guy on it, uh, which is going to give them a point here. They do nothing on the board, but they do move up one more point on there, which is going to give them a 10, which is going to put out more volcanoes. Oh, we need a and a tile. level one tile there. So, all right. Well, now I'm going to do my erupt to form volcanoes thing. Um... So I'm going to build a four here, and then I still have one remaining, so I'm going to build a one here. So that was that. Then I'm going to send a return from study. So what was here before? Nothing. Oh, what did you just burn? I, oh, you used... Yep. Nice. I'm going to send this guy uh, out here to the sacred site, and then I'm going to journey. I can move up to three spaces, but I'm only going to go one, two. Ryan's going to kill. All right, kill. that was three actions. Ryan is going to destroy in this game. I don't know about um, that. All right. Um, mm, interesting. Yeah, well, I wanted to be on there, so here, I'll put the little volcano. So I am going to... Build. Yep. Uh, and I'm building the temple. The topmost one. Yeah. There you go. So I'll get a wisdom for that. Thank you. And I get to ascend to one, two, and I get three wisdom. Um. So I'm going to. Oh, one, two, three. And I get one, and so does blue, because you built on theirs, too. Oh, no, but they don't have a guy there, so they don't get it. Sorry, my bad. I'm going to go one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go... Two. Two, three. And... Actually, you know what? You can send two on the track. Two... Two, three. And you'll ascend two on the track, David. I did already. Okay, you did already. I did. And that unlocks my guy. <laughs> the wisdom trackers look like mustaches. I guess and I I'm guess gonna, they do. I'm going to go ahead and put <laughs> this guy. Because uh, that was just action one. Yep. Hmm. I'm going to put him on journey. Okay. Um, and for that bonus action, I'm going to go one, two, three. Mm -hmm. uh, to get off the mountain? To get off the mountain. Okay. Then I am going to, for my second action, shift. Shift. Yeah, I think I have to. Uh, I don't know what they're supposed to be. I don't know what the, I don't actually know what the design is. I think they're supposed to maybe be like pyramids or like toppers for. I'm not actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm not actually shift. sure. 
I'm gonna. But we can ask. Send this guy. Um. Oh, shift. I'll shift this. Two. Okay. Um. And then for my last action, I'm going to send return. When I send, am I just sending one yep, person? just one person. Always just, just one? Just one person, yep. Um, I will send... this person out here. That's smart. All right. The Automa is going to go. They're going to build a sacred site in D. Uh, which they can't, they so they're going to place a guy in D, which they can do. So they're going to put one right there. So I'm about to maybe give them points. And, and then, then shift. they're going to shift that road too and go one space on the pyramid. They're pushing the end of the, the game. Ziggurat, right? oh, the ziggurat. The ziggurat. I'm sorry. You're right. It is a ziggurat. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to build a sacred site. I forgot how much I liked the puzzle of this game. Here. Yeah. So they're going to, I do too. So they're going to gain one wisdom. I'm going to gain two wisdom and I'm going to ascend two spaces on the pyramid. Or ziggurat. Sorry. <laughs> Can you move me up two spaces? One, and I two. get two wisdom. So I'm going to go one, two. There. Um, and then I'm going to... Well, what is this... Sorry, what is this top ability of journey? Uh, that lets you go across water. Okay. Just cross water? Cross water gaps. Not right. not these kind of waters. Yeah. But you can cross, you can move. All right. And it's going to be water. one, two for me to get down, and then a third one to get over there. Okay. And then I will move that tile to collide these together and make a mountain. All right, and there it goes. All right. That was me. Well, this changes things. Does it? A little bit. Um, Are they pontoon boats? I, I don't know. I actually have no idea what they are. They're just called wisdom markers. I'm going to journey. Okay. I'm going to go one, two. Okay. Oh, I can't be in that space with you. So where are you going to go? Ah, uh, never mind. Oh, you're going to try to get in there and build take before it out you. Me? Um, that would have been well, smart. Well, I'm going to still journey and just go one. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to build... Uh, okay. Build a temple here. Oh, nice. So you get a wisdom. I do. I go up top and I get, get to ascend two. And you get a lot of wisdom. One, two, and I get, I get three one wisdom. wisdom. Um... I'm going to go one. Mm -hmm. You get three total. Yeah. Have you found the asymmetrical nature of the game can lead to a runaway leader situation? I don't... No, because it's... I, I don't know. I don't think I don't so. I don't think so. I mean, yeah, the asymmetry is really... I mean, it's everyone's to decide. Oh, they stack. They're, they're little hats. That's cute. Thank you for the answer. Now we know. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't seen a... I mean, it's difficult to know because you're getting points from all different ways. So being at the height of that track is only 15 points. You can get those 15 points up in a lot of other places. Potentially. Are you still doing your wisdom? Yeah, I did the three wisdom. What I is? Think. I just unlocked this one. It's guy to guy. Is that just? 
Oh. I can uh, look at it. It's right there. May end journey on space is uh, with other by other people. And then what's the up to five? I get to move five spaces? Well, that's what I should have done. Yeah, move five spaces is the next yep. one. Okay. All right. Um, so I journeyed. I yep. built. And yep. then I have a last action. Uh, huh. Huh? Huh. I think I might move a tile. God, there's just very few tiles out on the board. I mean, just pick one and move it. I don't think I need to. I'm going to send yeah and return um and i'm going to return oh then i'll be full that's fine i'll do that okay take these two guys back and get two wisdom two wisdom all right and that was your third action yeah in either d b or a they're going to build their last little one so uh, D, they can't. Oh, yeah. yeah, they can. They'll build right there. All right. And put a guy on it. And they will do nothing else. And that is the end of their turn. Whoa. Can you use a multiple abilities to blow your piece? Uh, yes and no, Matt. Some of these abilities are like choose one. And some are... Uh, uh, some are like global abilities like the one that lets you spread out a uh, volcano if you get high enough it lets you build in a weird pattern you still get to choose one of the actions that's just a little bonus yeah and up here if i did my move one more time i could make a mountain by combining a three and a three together or a three and a four or a three and a four but i still get to choose one of the actual actions to do with it so all right the autumn is done so now it's me i'm going to send a return from study i am going to return this guy from up here to gain one wisdom, uh, I'm going to move this up to move five spaces. I am going to build a sacred site, David, here. Uh, and I'm going to put my guy on there. All right. And that is going to be in level two. So I get two wisdom. One, two, which gets me a bonus wisdom. I'll move this one up, which gets me a bonus wisdom. So are I'll those, move that uh, one up. those are immediate bonus wisdoms? Those are immediates, yeah. And if you get to the top of these four, you get to immediate ascend one. And I get to ascend two on the pier on the ziggurat. So can you move me two spaces? For red? um, I don't think that's an immediate bonus wisdom. I think it is when you do. Oh, you think so? When you build that thing. Okay. Well, then I'll take that back, and I'll take that back. You think you just get one extra wisdom every time for the whole rest of the game? Whenever you build okay. this sort of thing, which you're out of, practically. That's true. I am out of that one. Um, all right. So. Can you move me two spaces on the ziggurat, please? Yep. And then my last action is going to be to journey, and I can journey five spaces. One, two, three, four. Park me right there. Okay. That's three actions. That is three actions. Um, all right. I am all full. Yep, so you so have I to have send. I have to send, and I can't send from the send. Okay. So I'm going to send from the journey okay. out to here. Yep. That's action one. Action two is going to be to journey. Yep. And I'm going to go one, two. Yep. And then action three is going to be to build. Oh, I shouldn't have gotten off that spot. And I'm going to build this temple. Oh, he was there, so he should have gotten up one on the mountain, and then he'll go up one on the mountain again. So theoretically, the AI could get a lot of points. So I built a temple. I think he's going to get a wisdom for yeah, that. Yeah, I just gave it to him. Okay. And, and I'm going to go ascend two. Yep. One. So you actually two, go to 12. And get three more wisdom. I'm going to go one. Yeah, two. Make, yeah that makes sense. Uh, You've got a lot of those caps. I don't have that many caps. So that could be a big point difference. And then three. All right, are you done? The AI is going to build a sacred site in C, A, or B. Oh, uh, actually, when I built that, I actually did get that extra wisdom. Okay. So... So they cannot build in C. They cannot build in B. They cannot build in A. So they're just going to... They're not going to do it. 
Um, there's nowhere for them to build a sacred site. So they're going to shift this row two spaces. Which row? This row here is going to shift two spaces. This way? Yep. So, so two spaces. We'll do this. One, two. Yep, and then one, two, and then those will come around. All right. Um, I'm going to build a sacred site. Right here. So blue's gonna get one on that little square and I am going to get two ascension. So can you send me two on the ziggurat please? One, one two. two. We're getting there. And I get three wisdom. Um, I'm gonna go one, two, three. That unlocks your guy. That unlocks my guy. So I'm going to place it here um, on send or return from study. Hmm. I'm going to send this guy to study. So that was all one action. My second action is going to be to journey. And I'm going to go one, two, three, four over to here. Oh, I can't build anything on that one. So maybe I won't do that. I'll go to this one. And then, can, oh, can you move across water already? Yeah. Yeah, I can. And then I will erupt. Uh, I'm going to blow these up. So it's going to fill that one. So it's going to fill this one up to a four. And then spill over in one direction. Yep. This direction and make this one a three. You want that oriented differently? Yeah, probably. Though it doesn't matter for me because I can cross water. And that's that. All right. Uh, where am I? Oof. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to journey. Yep. You're going to have to journey. And go... One. Yeah, two. Bree says the spatial puzzle of this game is just crazy, and it really is. It is. This is a, it's a pretty. Th I mean, it's a very yeah. thinky puzzle of a game, but it's it's really cool. Um, so that was my journey. Mm -hmm. That's one action done. And then I think I'm going to. Send and return. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to send this guy. Uh, oh, I don't have many. I'm going to send him here. Ew, ew, ah, what, ugh. David? What? Here. Okay. Then I am going to shift. Actually, sorry. I'm going to send them here. Okay. Then I'm going to shift. Um, this here. Okay. Was that it? Yep. All right. The automa is going to go. They're going to build a sacred site in D, um, which they can't do. They can't put a guy out, so they're going to return their guys and gain two wisdom, one on that and one on the mountain. Then they're going to shift this whole row down two spaces. One, two, one, two. Mm. Interesting. All right. Yeah, it becomes interesting, too, is... Like, I'm out of temples, so I, I can't build on top of anything. I, need I to have get... a one basic temple left. So, I need to find a way to move. So you I mean can't... Monolith? Yeah. So, I will journey. Oh, and he went up the ziggurat. Yep. Sorry. Which is a big move. I will journey to here. I will move oh, to boy. combine these into a four. And then I will build a sacred site there, David. And that's going to give me one on the movement, which takes me up to 15, and one wisdom. So, 
Go ahead and finish your turn. I'm gonna grab the score. I'll be, I'll be right back. The what? Yeah. All Go ahead right. and finish your turn. All right. Um. All right. So uh, I think the game is coming to a close here pretty soon. Um, I am going to journey potentially. Ah oh, man, I just wish I could shift mountains. Uh, yeah, actually, I am going to, oh. Shift. So many mountains and you can't, like there's really very few places to shift now because we've got this big log jam in the middle right here. Um, oh my, yeah, I can't, I don't even think I can shift those. I'm gonna erupt instead. I'm gonna erupt this volcano here and have it pour a three down here. Um, then uh, I can erupt two, so I'm going to erupt this two and have it create a two like here. I'll actually, do this. Then, oh. I'm going to journey. I'm going to go one, two, and then I'm going to move. And I can move individuals diagonally and I can make threes into fours. So I'm going to move this one here and make it into a four. So I'm there all by myself on my lonely little floor. Uh, and that is my turn done. So now the automa is going to be D, uh, which is going to be able to make a mountain in D. Oh, where? Oh, on the lowest level of D. So D2 is going to get a mountain. I'm back. With Ryan's back. A score pad and a pen. Oh, Andy builds. Uh, does he have a... Oh, he can't. He cannot. He cannot. He's done much better than I have. <laughs> and then... Um, he is oh, going yeah. To you never moved me. Actually, You never actually moved me on the ziggurat, by the way. For what? For my turn. What did you do? I built. That was what was going to end the game. That was why I said you had one more turn. And why I have the score pad and pen. Ah, I see. Um... He's removing a tile from A. Yep. So is that this one? Oh, no, it's the largest one, right? Yeah. Unoccupied. So that is this one. Yikes. The land is destroying. Uh, and then finally, he's going to move up on the ziggurat twice. So we just stack up there at max points? Yeah, I guess. Okay. There is some tiebreakers. Um, that's it. That's it. Yeah, I wasn't able to get anything done. You want to score it up? I so, guess. So, are we going to score them? So, the first thing is score, if you can kind of see. Yeah, score them. It's a little tiny here. It's a tiny little board. Uh, points for the ziggurat. So, they got 15. Uh, we all got, uh, I got 15. How many did you get, David? What do you want? 12? All right, yeah. and then any victory points you got that were just pre-printed victory points, like for getting to the top of your tracks, which I didn't get any. I didn't get any of those. They did. They got six points. Uh, actually, they got ten points. 
Well, they get... 10. 6 from here, 4 from here. So they got... Oh, I see. The others all are they got multipliers. 10. All right. 7 points for every one of your uh, people that's on a sacred site. Um, so he has... How many four. Set, uh, no, sorry. No, it's, it's this. It's that. It's this yeah. value. So you get two. So I get two for every one. Uh, so that's two, four, just the sacred sites, right? Not the study, right? So yeah, one, two, uh, or where are you? I'm one, two. I've got two. And that. And three. Yeah. So that's six, six points, points for me. And I have none. You have none? Nope. What are you, yellow? Yep. And how many do they have? Uh, one, two, three, One point four. per. That one never went up, so they got four points. Yep. All right, and then points for your L-shaped ones. Mine were worth five points a piece, and I had one, two, three, four, so that's 20. Four. There's max four, right? We only have three. Each. Oh, then 15, sorry. I thought we had four. So 15 for me. Yep. It gets kind of hard to see which I have, ones were which. Uh, six. Six points? Mm hmm and theirs were four, four points each, and they have all three of theirs out, 12. so that's 12. The second level, we also had three of those, right? Yep. So I had another 15, because I had all three of those. I have zero. Uh, you have zero mm -hmm. level twos? Their level twos were worth five points apiece, and they have all three, so that's also 15. I'm going to get destroyed. And then the caps. No, you're going to get a lot of points I mean, for caps. This will be something. Their that. caps are worth three points each, but they have none. My caps are worth two point each. And I have one. one, so that's two. I have 21 points. Yeah, that's... I mean, still. That's though. pretty, pretty still, good. Still, though, I don't think I'm catching you. So it's, they have 106 points for the AI, or the Automa. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh! Wait. Yeah. No. Yeah. 39 points for David? Wait, he doesn't have 100. Yeah, 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, no, 50. What did I get? Yeah, 56. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know why I doubled it. I doubled it for some reason. He has 56. You have 39. Uh, and you have 5, 10, 15, 30, 17, 40, 40, 70, 50. 55. Yeah. Wow, so he actually beat me by one point. The Automa won. The Automa. And I came in dead last. You were just getting so much stuff built out there. Well, so was he. So that, Oof. so that's was it. Our experience. That's so that's Oros. We have to apologize. This there is a lot going on here, and we did brush up last night, but there's a lot to keep yeah. track of. So uh, forgive us for a couple of those little oversights. Hopefully, we, we didn't make too many mistakes. But hopefully, no, I don't think so. We gave you a good impression of how the game is played and how it puzzly it is. How is much of a puzzle it is. A thinky, thinky, thinky puzzle of a game. Uh, now I just want to play it again. Yeah. Because now that I've gotten that game refresher under well we'll definitely belt. talk about it more on the channel for sure so well thank you all so much for watching and we'll be back next wednesday with uh something new thanks Bye. a lot